I, I, I'm sure that, that uh, I'm not the first person to, to draw comparisons between this and Meet the Parents, but the no. thing about this movie that I think really works so well is that, is that while that movie sort of aims for a much broader sort of comedic tone, this one, everything even when Craig is on mushrooms, I mean, all yeah. that stuff sort of fits into a very believable sort of authentic oh, good. world. Um, I guess how careful did you have to be in sort of crafting this story? So there was like the, a sort of comical dynamic of him trying to win that approval. Yeah. And at the same time, it wasn't something where you're like, all right, well, this is just <laughs> hilariously awkward, I right. guess, or, you know, unbelievably I think, awkward. I think the, the intention, especially on some of the smaller stories, like the rest of the people's family, um, was based in reality. It's just based in... Um, wanting to have unconditional love in a family and wanting to feel like your family above anybody else knows who you truly are. And I think the idea of sort of keeping some of the most important things about your life, whether it's who your partner is, you know, if you feel inadequate in school or you don't feel popular or whatever, the, from the teenager to, you know, the, the, the sisters, um, I think that's what grounds it, is that everybody can relate to to wanting unconditional love and wanting acceptance, especially from your family. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Tyler's movies, they, they are such an interesting combination of this sort of really bigger than life yes. kind of uh, storytelling. And at the same time, these like really amazing, very honest, I mean like sort of almost shockingly honest <laughs> moments. Um, what, like as a producer, what, what sort of environment does he create or, or how does he facilitate that for you so that you can... You know, I really execute? didn't know how it was going to be going in because this was the first film that he really shepherded sort of as a godfather for another filmmaker. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, so like very early in the process, he asked me to come to the studio and he uh, took me around and he just talked with me as, as a self-made, self-taught filmmaker gave me some tips, opened the studio up to me, and said, ask questions to whomever you like. And, and I did. I took advantage of talking to crew and cast and about how my set could operate more smoothly. And, and then he said, I'm just going to let you go. And if anything goes wrong, you'll hear from me. And that's what he did. Mm -hmm. And luckily, nothing went wrong. But um, he gave us just leeway to to do us and to let us um, sort of express our voice. And he would come on set here and there, just as a shot in the arm to see how things were going. He'd whisper a few ideas in my head or a few jokes. And, and that was it, he, he kept it really light. Mm -hmm. Well, Craig is such a great comedian, but he might not be the first person that people would think of as, as a sort of leading man leading in man. this kind of way, much less a romantic lead. Um, what made you think of him and, and, what, and, and how did you two sort of collaborate to make sure that his performance was sort of suitably, you know, charming and, and funny, but, but also had that sort of, uh, you know. Um, the, the thing edge. about Wade Walker is that his intention has to be good. Mm -hmm. And Craig Robinson just exudes goodness. Like you're with him and you just, you feel good about yourself. He's very present with you and he's, he's lovable. So even if the, the character has to be in all of these awkward situations, Wade Walker, you have to know, is coming from a very good place. And that's Craig Robinson. So to top it off, he's that's his heart, and then he's so funny. Mm -hmm. And so um, it was easy to say, could you meet with this first-time filmmaker, please? And, and I'm begging you to do this part. And it was a huge risk for him because this is his first leading man role sure. and to take it um, with a first-time director. director. So um, I was very grateful. We were like codependent, <laughs> relying on each other, and I, I hope people are happy with it.